Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my brand new camping stove. Okay, so I've been in the market for a new camping stove for a little, little while. A few weeks at least anyway. Uh, my normal stove is this one back here. From Halfords. This is the one I tend to use. It's pretty good. It's not a bad stove. I got it in a sale. Um, I think about maybe seven, eight quid, something like that. It's pretty decent. And it takes these little uh, butane canisters, the ones with the pins in the end. Um, these camping gas ones, these ones, I think you get them from Halfords for about two pound each. Um, you can get them as cheap as a pound each, but they're unbranded. They're, you know, um, it's entirely up to you. You tend to have to buy them in bulk though if you want to get them for about a pound each. Put that on there. My new stove takes a thread. So uh, I had to rush out and buy a new gas canister. I knew that though when I, when I bought it that it was threaded. I just wasn't expecting it to arrive for about a month because it's supposed to come from China. Um, so I ended up getting this camping gas from Tool Station I think it was, uh, yeah I think it was Tool Station and uh, this is a butane and uh, propane mix this one so it should burn hotter. Personally I don't think the extra money is worth it, I'd rather get the, the cheaper ones like this for a pound or for two pound rather than spending four or five pound on those fat little well, camping gas do them, or Coleman's, whichever. I'd much rather have the, the slimmer. I think they're easier to carry as well. Um, this was quite expensive because obviously it's a large can, but it's all I could get my hands on. And for my test today, what I've done, to make it a bit safer, is I've screwed an old baked bean can to a bit of wood, make it nice and stable, and uh, that will fit in there like that. Make that nice and stable. And uh, we're going to test it out on my compact stainless steel Stanley cook set. I've had this for about six months. Never used it. This will be the first time I've used it. Uh, look, quite a big fan of Stanley products, to be honest with you. Now, a lot of people give them a bit of stick, but I think for the, the money, they're pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I really quite like their camping stuff. So there'll be more added to the range over time. But here's a lid. You see in the top there we've got some strainer holes. We also have a handle here which does sort of like lock into place so you can move it into various positions. And we've got a bit of a clearance here, a bit of a spout for pouring. Oh, I should say as well that there's, there is actually a, well it's not really rubber, it's like a gel ring. I mean, I will call it a rubber ring anyway. The ceiling. It comes with a stainless steel spork, which is quite nice. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that there's no Stanley stamp on it. A bit crap, that really. Uh, a bit disappointed that it doesn't have that on it. But well, it is what it is. Inside here, you have to just give it a little twist. You see these little indentations. Lift that out. And we have plastic cup. Now this, I don't actually know how deep it is. There is actually a measurement inside here, and that says 700 mil. 700 mil. That will hold. And that takes it to, where is it gone again? There, that takes it to the, the rim above there. So just sort of where these are. So you could actually fill it a little bit more if you wanted to. Lid fits on here, nice and snug. It's up there, won't come off. Pretty good, and like I said, you've got the, the pouring holes there, the strainer, and your spout there. So pretty decent, you've got neoprene, uh, grip for your hands, but we'll test all this out, see how we get on with that. And here you have the cook pot. 
Now I would only ever boil water in this. That's kind of what this set is for for me. So basically I'll put some dehydrated food into here, boil the water in here and just add it. But you can cook in it. It's what it's for at the end of the day, you can cook in it. Now this is marked up at 24 ounces and 16 ounces. But I know from a previous YouTube video that uh, somebody actually fitted 32 ounces of water in here. So it does hold quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brew up some water. I'm going to boil some water and then I'm going to store that water in my Stanley flask for later. So I'm not going to waste it. I'll make use of it. Uh, I'm going to slide this little handle, this little clasp here that goes to the end and you squeeze the handle in and that folds up the handle for you. It's pretty good. Stanley have done a couple of these um, over time. One of the reasons why I don't have the other Stanley cook set, because I really like that one, it's quite sort of a tall thin one, um, is because the Stanley logo on this one is painted on. Now over time that's going to burn off. On the bottom it's like laser etched on but over time that will disappear as well. So it's kind of like well I'm buying a branded product but for what end because there's nothing really that special about it and all the stuff that makes it what it is is all going to be burnt off anyway and unrecognizable which I think is a real shame because like I said I really like Stanley products. So a bit gutted about that and the other cook set has two versions so it has the one like this where it's just printed on the side or it has the one where it's actually embossed, where it's stamped into it. And because I can't be sure which one I'm gonna get when ordering them, because I've never come across them in any of the stores, um, I won't buy one. So it's a real shame, in fact, if I was guaranteed that I was gonna get the one that was embossed, I would have bought that. But when I found this kit, I thought, well, yeah, fair enough, it is still um, painted on the side, but there's nothing I can do about that. I know that it's painted on the side of this. I'd be very good if I'd have got it with the other one. It might sound a bit crazy, but, you know, it's having that option taken away from me, I guess, that I don't like. Right, let's squeeze that in. Pop that on the top there. Oh, I forgot the fork. And this, just very quickly, um, which is earlier, this is my Stanley flask. It says it's a you know, legendary food jar. Lifetime warranty on these things. Absolutely love it. I've had this for about five years. My son bought me this for my birthday one year. I remember him asking my partner because he got to an age where he wanted to sort of get involved in buying the presents and selecting presents and stuff. And he said to my partner, I want to get my dad something special. What shall I get him? And my partner said, well, get him Stanley Flask. That was in a store. And my son was just like, what? Why would my dad want that? He wouldn't want that. But he was wrong, because I absolutely love it. And he was quite impressed, because when I opened it up, and I was like, oh my god, I absolutely love it, it's brilliant. And he said, oh, yeah, Amanda said you'd say that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I don't really get it, to be honest with you, Dad, but if you like it, fair enough, and I do, I absolutely, I love it. I've even kept the label on it. I'm five years old, and it's still got the label on it. Love it. Right, so get that out of the way. And uh, let's take a look at the stove. I guess what I'll do is I'll move the camera in and uh, I'll clear this up and we'll, uh, we'll take a better look at the stove. Okay. Let's just clear some stuff out of the way. Actually, I was just thinking, actually I'll just show you this first, because I wanted to get a stove that I could carry in my backpack. I've never had a backpack stove before. So this is my first one. And it's a uh, Elixada stove. And it's kind of a copy of a very famous um, American stove. 
um, I'm not sure what it was called, like Primus Trail, something like that. Very popular in America, except the, the American one doesn't have foldable arms, whereas this one does. I've got to be honest with you, I kind of thought that these arms actually might be quite stiff, so that if I had a smaller pot, I could sort of raise the arms up and they would hold the pot in place. Now, whether or not that would even work, because once this gets hot, it probably will expand, etc, etc. So, I don't know, but I was a bit disappointed to see that they are quite flimsy, really. This cost me £6 from Amazon, and it actually was delivered the next day. Now, here we have the jet with the valve, and that just screws in to the bottom here, so it comes in two pieces. Be careful not to uh, thread it. And then that just screws onto here. So let's check that. That's turned off. Yeah, I think so. Just screw that. Actually, before I screw that on, I just actually want to say that uh, what I've done is I ordered this and then I ordered an adapter to take these kind of canisters. Okay. Now the adapter that I've ordered is sort of like a pair of legs with an adapter on the side of it so the can sits on the side like this. Of course because I got this big can I had to build this to make it stable. I just kind of thought that because that fits inside so well I'm probably better off actually attaching some legs to the bottom of the can and then that way you can put some sticks in it some like tent pegs or whatever into the ground so I put three on here and then just bear with me actually I'll see if I can uh, see if I can find something to demonstrate it with what be a sec right so I've got these little little pegs little uh, Bracket. I'm thinking if I bolt them to the can, and then you put the pegs through there, that will keep it nice and stable. And the can, the gas canister, sits in there really nice. So I actually might fashion that up instead, and uh, let's see how we get on with that. Right, so let's get rid of this. No good. And uh, so I'm going to screw this onto here. Hope all this goes well. I've never used one of these before, ever. So we're going to see how we get on. Right, okay, so that's in like so. So I'm going to some water and we'll be right back okay right so I filled this up to the 16 ounce mark and uh, I've got a timer so we're going to time it and see how we get on so let's uh, start this off See how long it takes. Now I'm not going to make you sit there <laughs> all the way through it, so I'll fast forward it. Um, yeah, actually I think that's pretty good the way it is, to be honest with you. So do that, and we'll come back and find out how long it takes. Okay, so we're about a minute in, and uh, I've got to admit I'm pretty impressed with the burner so far I mean it lit really nice and uh, it's got a lovely soft flame going um, I'm really not into the sort of um, you can get these really tiny 
little stoves that are like rocket stoves and uh, yeah I'm not a big fan I know people want to make a cup of tea but when you sort of sat outside in the wilderness you know where are you going you know, you're not going anywhere you don't need it to boil you know uber fast I mean I know yes it uses up your gas and whatnot but I really don't feel the need to have something that's going to burn through my bloody pans so yeah I'm happy with this so far uh, coming up to two minutes now that's two minutes so we'll check back in a second see how long we're getting on okay so that's the three minute mark and we have got some activation in the water so we'll see it probably with the next 30 seconds or next minute at least okay so we're now at the four minute mark I've just turned the lights down to see if you can see you got the you see on the back of the wall there we got the heat rising it's taken a little bit longer than expected, but uh, yeah, we've got some action going. Like I said, at the end of the day, it is just on a sort of medium heat. It's not on a fully high heat. We'll check back in a sec. Okay, so we're now at the six minute mark. Probably let it run for a little bit now. I uh, never expected it to be six minutes, but we don't have a lid on it. So we'll have to try again with the lid. I'm a bit dubious about using the lid, but on a sort of medium heat like this, we might be fine. I'm just a little worried that it melts the lid. This was very cold water, by the way. Seven minutes now. I'll let it get to a rolling boil. Eight minutes. Gosh, I never expected it to take this long at all. Definitely going to have to retry this with the. Uh, like I said, the water is very cold. It's a very cold day. But uh, yeah, I should have checked the temperature of the water really. But considering some of these. Uh, like rocket stoves or whatever, they're supposed to boil in like two and a half minutes. The water must be already relatively warm for that. But I'm not complaining, but it is coming up to nine minutes. Nine minutes is coming up. And it's done a rolling boil now, so we'll stop it there, but it is. Let's leave it where it got to the nine minutes. There. Okay, so it was actually 8 minutes 40. Okay, so I think I said that was uh, 8 minutes 40. So what we're going to do, I've just poured out another 16 ounces of water. We're going to pop the lid on. Into the pan. And we're going to turn the heat up and see what we get off that. So let's turn this up. One way. And we'll start that off. And we'll 
see how that does. Okay, so we are now one minute in. I just want to sort of say one of the reasons why I got this sort of burner is not because it was like uber cheap, because originally I did have about 20 quid to spend on a burner, and I did actually look at some of the camping gas um, burner heads. They, they've got a couple of really good ones, and one of them was, I think it was about 21.99 with electronic ignition, and that actually came down to about 18.99 um, just before I bought this and was very tempted to get that. But when I came across this, because it's such a big head, I wanted something that was quite large that would easily, I could use my, my Stanley uh, cook set on. But also in the future, I want to get myself a little billy can set. Now with the, the Halfords set, I can use regular pans, it's not a problem. Um, but obviously this is something that I want to take out with me from time to time. So I want some pans and some pots that are going to be, that will stack inside each other. And I want to be able to use as many of them as possible or bring as many of them as possible for cooking various things. I don't want to be restricted to just one item. So that's why I wanted something that could fold down small for smaller pots and then could open up larger for larger pots. Oh, we've got some action going on. That's 2 minutes 30. Okay, we've just hit 3 minutes 30. Shouldn't be too long now, I think. Okay, and that was 4 minutes 44. So, half the time. With just a little bit of more heat turned up. So, very impressed. Very impressed. That wasn't obviously opened all the way. I don't want to because I don't want to accidentally burn this, but it's not. It's not burnt. It's not scorched. It's absolutely cracking. And I should say as well that the 16 ounces that I used almost filled this flask. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.